Hey guys, this is how to build a designer personal website in Notion. I'll be walking you through how to do that. It takes about 10 seconds, 30 seconds from the moment you're ready. If you don't have a page, a Notion page ready, I'll show you how to jumpstart that, let's say. And I'll be walking you through the whole process. Um, I'll start by saying that this works for both a personal website for yourself as a designer. It works for you as a portfolio. It works if you're in a design agency, to be frank. And um, obviously, you will control this from Notion. Any change that you make from your Notion page, a new design project, a new client, a new quote from a client, you just add that into your Notion. And what we do is we sync perfectly to your website. But enough, enough uh, chit-chattering. So let's just jump into it. Step zero that I would like to start with is you will need to have your Notion page ready. You need to have the Notion page looking like how you want your website to look like because we will just mirror it. If you don't have that, step zero is for you. If you have it, jump to step one. Use the timestamps below. But for step zero, I suggest you go to this page right here, which I will link, by the way, in the in the bio. And if you scroll down to templates or just use this button right here, but just go to templates. We made some out of the box Notion templates you can just duplicate. So um, I'll just let's get this one, for instance. Um, we have them ready for you. They're free. They won't cost you anything. And you can freely duplicate and do whatever you want with them. So um what I'll do at step zero is look for this button right here, duplicate. And what I have to do is select my workspace. I'll just put it here. Now we'll just let Notion do its thing. Uh, it's making a one-to-one -one copy so that now you have access to the page. So my name is not Jacob, my name is Daniel. Um, web design. Let's just keep it simple for now. And yeah, let's leave it like that. That's it for step zero. For step one, what I want to do is look for the share button right here. Click share, click share to web. And I will need this very link. So this one, not something else. Um, alternatively, you can get our Chrome extension, which I will link as well below. And if you click it, you have the possibility to click this blue button once you're on the page. We do all of it for you. So you already get halfway into building your website um, without having to go through the, is it this link, is it that link? But um, regardless, let's close that. Let's just say you don't want a Chrome extension or maybe you're on mobile. You get this link and on any page, you will see something like this or maybe this here or at the top of the page, a field where you have pasted your link. I'll do right click paste. And if I click try creating a website, I get to where I was with the Chrome extension, halfway into building my website. Copy the link to your Notion page. So again, the correct link. And then for step two, just select a simple.ink subdomain. This doesn't do anything to your page. So you have full control. We don't edit anything here. And you can change the subdomain at any point. Obviously, pick a nice one if you can find it. So I'll just pick something like Sage Daniel Design Website one just in case somebody wants to see channel dash design that simple that ink subdomain so get a beautiful one while you can get your name if it's available uh you can change it at any point kind of like a instagram account name if you change it somebody else can take it for you but regardless i'll just click launch it and i'm already logged in so give me a sec all right and if i click once again let's launch it i'll wait for a second and boom that's where the magic happened. So the website is already live on the very subdomain I've chosen. Um, I can add a custom domain, but I'll get into that in a second. I can go to settings. Oh, make sure you see this, our integration slash power ups page where you can add analytics. We'll show you how to add several stuff. But in the meantime, as you've seen in, in the three seconds it took, or maybe less, the website is already live on, uh, I had to change this for a second, but on the very subdomain I have chosen. And that that's all it took. So uh, tutorial done, so to speak. From this moment onwards, I'll just walk you through a couple of settings and um, features that are relevant for a designer website or portfolio. I'll be letting you know about some edges you have as a designer, for, so for this specific use case over other website editors. But let me let me jump into it. Let me let me show rather than tell. So um, the website is ready. 
Uh, let's start with the number one, the most beautiful part, which is if I change something here, contact me via email here. Let's just add some few changes. The changes are instantly taken here. You might have to refresh a couple of times, but as you can see, after three refreshes, this has to do with cache. If I would have opened that on another device, it would have been instant and it is instant in the back end. Uh, we cache your website. So that's yet another thing we take care of so that as we mentioned on our website, we optimize for, of course, zero headache. So that's the sort of stuff you don't want to deal with. We're taking care of that. You don't need to understand or uh, lose sleep over at night. Caching allows your website to load faster for your users and I mean, even for yourself. So any change I make to the Notion page is mirrored to the Notion website. That's beautiful because when I add a new screenshot or a new project showcase, I don't have to go through a designer, sorry, a developer or an agency or a freelancer or some tool somewhere, somewhere. You already use Notion for your notes. You're just a few clicks away from your usual Notion usage. You're a few clicks away from changing something on your website. And that's absolutely beautiful. Every time there's a new, as I, even something as small as a new quote from a, a new client, you don't have to go to Webflow or WordPress. Is it this menu? Is it that menu? It's all breaking apart. What do I do? Call, middle of the night, nobody picks up. No, it's just you and yourself with your portfolio website. And not only do you have to depend on anyone, you do it faster than they would have done it if you were that very freelancer who was able to do it. Maybe you are that person. Regardless, let's move on. Um, any page that is created in Notion, any sub page, I should say, is automatically created and they get a beautiful URL assigned automatically. You can change that. You can have granular control if you wish to, but by default, we're taking care of everything so that it's zero headache for you. Um, any sub page you might further make. So just go to Notion, enter slash page and just make a new page for, I don't know, contact me. Yeah, maybe use um, simple at ink slash Notion. Maybe use simple Notion forms. Maybe you want to create a um, an email form such as this one here or something like that. Just add a form or do whatever you want. It's instantly mirrored. Let me see, what else am I showing you back here in the dashboard? Oh, custom domain. So if you want a custom domain, just go over here to, this This is closed by default, so let me show you. Site customization, domain. Click there, boom, you're here. You can change your simple.ink subdomain, or you can add a custom domain. I have to tell you, we have this as a paid feature. You don't have to pay us if you don't want to, you can stick to a freemium plan for, for as long as you want to, but if you have a custom domain, which you need to buy from a registrar, uh, like Google Domains, Namecheap, GoDaddy, you buy it from there, and then you can assign it here. You can connect it, connect it. Takes a couple of minutes, no, a couple of, less than a, less than a minute, a couple of seconds, to be frank. And uh, then you can get something like, David, my co-founder has his website with build with simple.ink. As you can see, this looks like Notion. This is Notion in the background. And of course, look at this. Beautiful, chdavid.com. Now, again, if you're not looking to pay us anything at the moment, that's fine, just stick to a simple ink subdomain. I've chosen something ugly here for the sake of, as I said, keeping the beautiful subdomains for you guys. But um, let's just say it was uh, design genius. I don't know, that's simple at ink. It's a beautiful subdomain. It's short, it's simple. I mean, the name suggested. Uh, knock yourself out with a simple ink subdomain. Other than that, let's see, I can I can do a plethora of things. I can change the title. So after this video is aired, we will have already had the feature where we automatically do this. The title of your website is taken from the very page. So consider that done. I can add site description. That is for Google, for search engines, you know, the, the results, the small text that is under the title. I can choose a favicon and the favicon is uh, this one right here. So by default, this is the background of our Simple Ink logo, um, but you can change it. David's chosen the Earth logo, sorry, the Earth emoji. Um, you can set a preview image for social media. This is what it looks like when people share your link on your website, on um, Twitter, Facebook, what have you. 
And let's see, last but not least, you have the possibility to add custom code. I won't dive into this is more of a um, power user feature. It's free. You can add custom code on our freemium plan for now, at least. Uh, if you know what you're doing, knock yourself out. If not, just ignore that. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much how to build a simple.ink website. Where am I? Here I am. This is how to build a designer website in Notion. I've walked you through a couple of the benefits. Uh, I can tell you as well that in the future, after this video is out, what we're coming out with next is themes. So themes are UI, so design, new designs you apply on top of this. At the moment, this is mimicking Notion, but we know how designers, you know, uh, just like a builder's house is never properly finished, a designer's website is never fully designed. Uh, we'll be adding themes so you can change the layout. You can apply some of the themes we've made, maybe a beautiful dark one, maybe something even more minimalistic than Notion, if that is something. Uh, maybe whatever, we'll let you browse through them and through a couple of clicks, apply them. Um, that is coming out soon. Other than that, we give a quick rundown of the benefits here. We have a recap of how to do it. Uh, don't forget about our templates. And um, yeah, some FAQs. Let me see, what else have I, haven't I shown you? Yeah, perhaps it's worth noting that we've got this, the freelancer pack, and point you to our guides, of course. Check out all the guides we have here. Oh, right, that's what I was forgetting. I wanna point you to this page as well, where we have a collection of like a showcase. This is how people's websites look like, so live websites. I was thinking designers, I like do, doing graphic design as well. I I know that I would have been picky have I been you watching this video. So I would be picky, I would say, all right, lovely thing, besides just the website. So um, this is a beautiful website, buildingpublic.simple.ink. This is pretty complex as well. So it's it's more than just a simple website. It's got sub pages and all that. Um, last but not least, I'll just finish with this. Check out our Notion freelance pack. Uh, we're saving you 100 plus hours and we give a bunch of templates for free, like proposals, quotes, invoices, whatever. But I'll stop here for now. Um, I've, I wanted to be respectful of your time and let you know when the guide finished around the fourth or fifth minute. I've just taken these other minutes to show you what other beautiful things we're doing for yourself and for, for people such as yourself. But let me know in the comments below what else you want us to do in terms of features what other stuff you want us to clarify, what other guides, and uh, of course, any question you might have about this video. If not, I hope it helped. This was how to build a designer personal website in Notion. I'll see you in the next video.